it's rainy and cold here in Scottsdale. Uh, it's actually supposed to be a freeze morning. I look awful. I haven't even showered yet. I just wanted to get up and get my spot. So I'm over here in Scottsdale, Arizona. After I left Mexico, I came over here to get some errands done. I'm gonna be here for about a week so I can get my computer fixed. Ugh, it's a brand new computer that I just got this last December. I was just here in Scottsdale for that. And uh, it's given me some issues. The computer screen is glitching for some reason and the keyboard is putting like a couple of spaces every time I hit space bar. So, I don't know what's going on. So we're here to fix that. I just have a ton of errands to do around town and I'm gonna meet some people that I know here and just have some fun. So you're gonna come with me. All right. First things first, let's pick up some Amazon packages. And I just gotta find a code. 412612. 412612. Enter. The open locker two. Here's one. So this actually gives you all of your lockers. So you can open them up. Ooh, it's a big box. Man, they sent everything separately. Whoops, I hope that's not breakable. So once you close it, it'll tell you what your next locker is. Open locker one, another one. It's up here. I'm actually staying at the Camping World over here and they've got a really nice lot that you can stay in overnight. So we're headed there now. Head west toward North Granite Reef Road. Okay, so the Camping World is just down the street at the very corner where the retail area is, but what you wanna do is go into the entrance where I'm about to go right now because this is where the lot is. And what's really cool, so this is the lot, um, Camping World is right there. That's all gated over there. But you just pull in here and they actually have electricity if you wanna hook up. 30 amp and 50 amp over here. It's very safe. There's four electrical outlets on each post. So really you could get 12 RVs over here. I'm just gonna park here and I'm not gonna even hook up because I've been driving and I don't really need it. All right, now that I got settled and I opened up all of my packages from Amazon, it's time to eat. I'm actually just gonna heat up some soup in my instant pot. Let me turn the inverter on. And I'm just gonna put this on pressure for eh, four minutes. That should do it. This is the area outside. You can see that they have the four boxes over here for electric. Let's open it up. There's 30 amp on the left and 50 amp on the right and then 120 uh, in the middle. Looks like we're just out here by ourselves tonight. It was a really rough night last night. Um, I could not sleep. I think I finally fell asleep like at 2.30 and for no other reason than I think I just had coffee too late. I'm headed to the Apple store now, but my appointment isn't until like 12.45. I just wanna get there early so I can get a good parking spot out front. Um, but it's rainy and cold here in Scottsdale. Uh, it's actually supposed to be a freeze morning. I look awful. I haven't even showered yet. I just wanted to get up and get my spot. Lily, how are you this morning? Did you get sleep? Well, I got here super early. And look, there's still delivery trucks out here. There is a coffee shop that's just right over here, so we're gonna head over there and get some coffee. Sixteen ounce soy latte. Mm -hmm. Um, very very light foam. Right here 
right, it's 12.45, it's time to take the computer. Let's go. Ooh, and it's raining outside. How are you? Pretty good, how can I help you? I have a 12.45 appointment to get my computer fixed. All right, success. Finally, so here's the deal. The old computer, the keyboard was busted. They were gonna have to ship it off for like five to seven days to get it fixed. Well, I don't have another computer and I don't have the time to wait for that. So I bought a new computer from them that has just a little bit of an upgrade to it. Downgrade on the video card, which isn't too big of a deal actually. So it has everything I really, really wanted on it. Um, so I got like 50 bucks back. So we're gonna try to transfer everything over from this computer to this computer because Nick's the man. <laughs> Hi YouTube. Which is really just the applications because I don't keep any documents or photos or anything on there. Uh, all of that stuff resides offline in the cloud. So it shouldn't take too long hopefully for this to uh, get loaded and then we are off and started right now. Well, we got the new computer. Hopefully this one works. We had to replace the computer with a new computer and hopefully this one does not have any keyboard issues because this has been a long day and I'm behind. So fingers crossed guys. I'll tell you what, it's been a little bit of a day. I haven't done a ton. I mean, I've gotten a lot accomplished. I finished up my video for Thursday delivery. I got all my social media done. Um, got the computer thing taken care of, but that just took so long today. Um, answered everybody's comments. You know, I got a lot done, but you know, my appointment was at 1245 for the uh, computer and it took all day to get that figured out. So, oh, it's dinner time now. Beautiful morning out. I uh, came over here to this place called Olive and Ivy. It's a restaurant that I'm eating my former boss manager, Matt, over here for breakfast. I like to visit him whenever um, I come in town, but it's really cold here. Oh my God. We can't get away from the cold. Holy cow, this weather's been so weird this year. Um, but let me show you this place. It's right on what they call the waterfront in the desert. It always amuses me. So this is the canal. Lily's pretty cold this morning too. Look at her. She's in her jacket. Or are you gonna sit? She's shaking. Lily, what's going on, girl? Oh, all right, let's go. Well, this is my office for the day. It's just over in a huge shopping area in kind of the Tempe Mesa area. And they have all kinds of shops and restaurants, so it's nice and easy for me whenever I want to do some shopping, uh, do some errands, and also get a bite to eat. I definitely tend to eat out a little bit more when I'm in cities, which yeah, I don't really like to do that a lot, but Man, they have good food here. <laughs> like Mexican food, which I love. I'm gonna be here all day just working on some videos and Kevin gets here on Friday night. So uh, we have a lot planned for the couple of days that he's gonna be here, including interviewing him. So you guys will be seeing that soon as well. Just a lot to get done and then I'm off to Texas. And we're gonna do a meetup in Texas. By the time you see this video, I might have already done the meetup. So interestingly, and hopefully this doesn't happen today, but I was here a couple of days ago, it was over the weekend, and security was pretty much harassing me over here. I wish I had gotten it on camera, but uh, you know, you're not supposed to overnight here, and I was just over here working. There's a ton of space, as you can see. It's a huge shopping center. Yeah, they kept coming by and they knocked on my door several times to tell me, you can't overnight here. And I'm like, it's 10.30 in the morning. I'm not overnighting here. One guy came up to me, one security guard, it was a different one, and told me I had to leave. 
that this was private property. And I'm like, I've eaten breakfast here, I've eaten lunch here, I'll probably eat dinner here, I've shopped at Walmart, I've been to Verizon. Like, why are you, why would they kick me out just because I'm in a van? Like, and he's like, you've been here all day long. And, which wasn't completely true, but I had been there for several hours. So, you know, I asked him, I was like, what's the difference between me, like, going into Starbucks, say, and working in there and, and just parking my vehicle out in the parking lot all day long? Like, there's literally no difference except I'm in my own vehicle and not taking up a space inside of Starbucks. Hopefully they don't bother me today, and if they do, I'm gonna get it on video this time. There he is, the man of the hour. Oh my god, Amber from Star Chase. <laughs> uh, yeah, two days ago I quit my job as a corporate lawyer to become a travel vlogger. Like, you know, what could go wrong? <laughs>